Hi, I'm Alistair Hay, homeopathic owl, and I help people get well, and I help people stay well using homeopathic medicines. And I do mainly home visits in um, Hampshire, in Surrey, West Sussex, and South London. And that's how you can find me online, at homeopathicowl.com. One of the questions I get asked quite a lot is, how does homeopathy work? Um, it's an interesting question, because actually, I think, it takes a sort of way in which you have to look at something from a completely different perspective. You see, when you look at something from a medical perspective, you have to see its action upon physiological systems to determine whether it works or not. Whereas with most other forms of health and healing, you look at the reaction of that influence upon people, physiological systems, so on and so forth. So. For instance, if someone was to introduce themselves as a writer, um, it would seem quite strange to say, I don't believe in books. There's nothing in them. To the point where this book and this book, if you analyze them from a chemical perspective, or even a biochemical perspective, there is no difference to them. They are you know, wood pulp, ink, nothing in them. But if I then had to explain to you, how, how is it possible then that a book can change my life? Try and explain that from a chemical perspective. It's tricky. Um, what I basically would have to say is that if I open this page, I'm gonna have to see light and dark bits on that page that are going to, I'm going to understand and they're going to influence my mind in such a way as it's going to change my feelings and my opinion of something. It's already beginning to sound a bit bizarre, especially since the medium in which that is transferred is the air. It would be a bit silly for me to postulate that the air has memory or that it can remember what's in it or that some kind of transference happens within that air. Same thing with music. I've not ever heard someone say, don't believe in music, nothing in it. But both you and I know that you can listen to a track of music and say, well, I don't like that, or I really do like that. When I listen to that, it makes me cry. When I listen to that, it makes me want to get up and dance. When I listen to that, it brings up nostalgia. But all music really is, is vibration in the air, squashing and spacing out of sound waves. But you can't analyze little bits of air and say, that has music in it, can you? It's a bit like that with homeopathy. You're looking at the way in which people respond to it. That's how it's tested. That's how I got into it, because it has this sort of sciencey side of it, as well as an arty side to it. The sciencey side is knowing that that medicine has the capabilities of causing those same symptoms in a healthy person, because it was tested in that way. And the arty side is being able to create a platform in which someone can tell you what the matter is, giving them that space to be able to say, this is what is wrong with me. And we prescribe based on that individuality, just as much as I, I put a, a post out on a business networking group, on a Facebook group, and I asked, I can't remember quite what I asked, it was something like, um, name a book that has changed your life. And there were about 58 people that responded and only two people mentioned the same book. That's interesting. So they're quite happy to admit that a book has changed their life, but of all of, of those 50 or so people, only two people can say the same book changed their life. Some people also said one book more than one book has changed my life. Hopefully that makes some sense, in the sense that we're looking at how people respond to things. We're stimulating the body to heal itself. We consider symptoms as being something that our body produces to get better, rather than looking at symptoms as something that happened to us from outside, and then we need to reduce them to get rid of them. It's a different way of looking at it. So if you look at homeopathy from that medical perspective, or 
I suppose pharmaceutical or biochemical perspective, you're looking, you, you're not going to find the answers you want to find. Well, you won't find the answers I want to find anyway. But if you apply that same logic to music, to books, to conversations, how you respond to the television, there isn't anything in it either. But it would seem ridiculous to say, I don't believe in television, there's nothing in it. I don't believe in books, there's nothing in it. I don't believe in music, there's nothing in it. That might not fully explain how homeopathy works, but I suppose my job really isn't to do that. My job isn't to understand how homeopathy works. My job is to make it work. I'm sitting here using video medium to record this video. I don't really know how that works, but I know it does. I've got a hard drive on a computer in front of me. It's not one of those new flash drives, it's one of those ones with the, with the disks in it. Um, I don't know how that works either, but I just know it does. Um, I don't really know how my mobile phone picks up a signal, but I just know it does. Um, I don't consider that to be faith. I don't consider that to be a belief. I just kind of know. So that's my take on how homeopathy works. Possibly not the best answer you were thinking of getting, but it is an answer nonetheless. So if you see ill people today, think of Alistair Hay. <laughs>